Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for this review, we're going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys, Batman, Adam West, 7-inch action figure. So, here he is, and I'm so excited to have this in 7-inch form. Obviously, McFarlane Toys has an entire Batman 66 line, which is 6 inches in height, and they look great. I, I love that line. It's a very toy toyetic, 60s, old-school feeling line. Uh, the only problem is that none of those figures scale with the DC Multiverse line. So it's great that they've given us this Adam West Batman classic first live action. Well, no, not technically the first live action. I forget the name of the, the first live action, that old black and white serial, but you know what I mean. But this is the, the Bright Knight. This is Adam West, 1966. This was my first exposure to Batman, really. Uh, before the the Michael Keaton movie came out and he you know it was just so formative for me with uh, Michael Keaton and I love that show to this day with Burt Ward and all the awesome villains that we got but anyways really excited to, to have this I found this at Walmart in California Southern California this is not a platinum thankfully or any any of that jazz so you should be able to hopefully find this relatively easy should be available for order wherever McFarland toys are sold but yeah let's get into it let's get adam west outside of the package and take a closer look all right so here is adam west outside of the packaging first of all he doesn't come with additional trading card he actually comes with this card which gives you a chance to win this batman replica cowl so apparently you scratch off the scratchable park there then you scan the qr code and then you have a chance to win a sweepstakes winning this nifty replica cow. So that's cool, something different. So, But you also do have a nice kind of training card artwork though, still, but there it is. So there's that. Then the accessories, I left them in the tray for the moment just because they're a little easier to show you. Comes with a very nice batarang, bat communicator, two extra sets of hands. One gives you the uh, the pose to create the, the, bat, the bat tootsie. Is that what you call it? The bat dance or whatever he does, uh, which I love. Very famous look for him. So there you go. And then here is the figure itself. And you, you might notice that Hugo Strange is standing next to him. This is the first thing I wanted to comment on is the length of the cape. I'm not the first one to bring this up, obviously, but people have noticed that the cape is pretty long on Adam West. And I'm fine with it. It looks great. I know it's not accurate. It should be shorter, but it still looks awesome. But the one on Hugo Strange actually looks like it should be on Adam West because the one on Hugo Strange is actually shorter than the one on Adam West. And I feel like, I don't know if they were maybe switched in production or if I'm just being paranoid, but I feel like they, they, they're on the wrong figures. So that's just an observation I wanted to make. So you probably could switch the capes. Uh, Hugo Strange's cape is under this piece of plastic here. I'm not brave enough to try you know, pry this off by any means, but I'm sure a talented customizer or maybe Brad the DC Universe geek will know how to remove that easily. But that's the only observation I wanted to make about the cape. I feel like if you put the Adam West one on Hugo Strange and vice versa, vice ver versa, what's vice versa? Vice versa, I think that would work, work much better. Other than that, that's really my only, I can't even call it a complaint because I don't care about the length of the cape. I like this really long cape that he comes with. Again, not accurate, but it's just a beautiful cape. These wired capes are just so freaking rad. I just, they just, they're just great. You can make so many fun poses with them. Even though Adam West was really known for his cape poses in the show, it just looks freaking great. Look at that. Um, as for the figure itself, I mean, I think it looks great. It's Adam West as Batman. Uh, the only thing that bothers me about the sculpt is this right here. It's very, you know, this whole, I call it this cut, the chest cut, because for the articulation. I wish they just didn't do it for a figure like this, because I think it would just look way better if it was one piece. I know you wouldn't have articulation if they did that. I don't really care. I'd rather have um, it look you know, just uniform instead of having this awkward cut in the middle. On other figures, it doesn't bother me as much, but this one, you're even getting like a little shadow because of that cut. So that's it. That's my only complaint about this figure. Other than that, I think it's a great rendition of Adam West. I mean, the cowl looks pretty right on. The logo looks good. The belt, look at that. It all looks pretty 
good to me. So, yeah, good range of motion with this figure, too. You know, you can make some good good moves with him. There's that, you know. So, yeah, he does bend down a little bit. So, there you go. There's the head there. So, yeah, I love this figure. It's so nice to have all the live-action Batmans now represented now that we have Adam West. All right, so let's see how Adam looks next to a few other Batman figures. All right, there is the Bright Knight next to two Dark Knights there. So, yeah, there's Adam West next to Michael Keaton and Christian Bale. He looks so sweet, doesn't he? And his very classic 60s costume next to these highly detailed black and gold costumes. Uh, I just love it. I just love having him in here. We got to get a Linda Carter now, a Christopher Reeves. Man, they, they have to do 7-ish version of those to match up with Adam West. And give us a John Wesley ship. Uh, 90s Flash as well. Love that show. Would love to have all of these heroes uh, represented in plastic. But there he is. So, yeah, I'm very happy about this figure. I'm going to be greedy and say I hope we get a Robin as well. Because you got to have Batman and Robin, you know, in this scale. It just, yeah. So there it is. Again, my only minor issue is with this area here of the, of the chest or the ab area. I just wish that was one piece. But other than that, I love this figure. It looks great. Cape is awesome. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, there he is. So there, there is Adam West. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I found this at Walmart. You should be able to find it at most stores. You can pre-order it, I think, still. So yeah, there he is. There is Adam West as Batman. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And have a great day.